Hi there, this is Dr. Embody. We're going to take a look at computer project number five. Now this one was motivated by the fact that measles outbreaks are in the news. So we went and uh, grabbed some data from the CDC on uh, vaccinations and built a project around it. But that's the, that's the basic idea. And there are two parts to it. There's a part A and a part B. And let's start off with uh, part A. And, and even before we do that, let's take a look at uh, what this data looks like. Now we give you some data, and uh, here I'm opening it with the, uh, uh, the text editing file that's on the Mac. Uh, you might uh, want to look at it in Excel if you want, but somehow take a look at the data. And I'll blow this up a little bit. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff there. Um, and we are interested in the, uh, we, we are interested in the uh, data for measles. Okay. And in the first part of this, we are going to print this column, including the header, along with the states <coughs> and the national data. So, so the, the national uh, average is 91.9, Alabama 89.7, and so on. And we want to include this, this plus minus part in there, too. So that's what the first part is. The second part of this assignment is we are going to do three things out of this. We are going to find out uh, ignoring the, the national one out of all the states who's got the biggest vaccination rate, out of all the states who's got the smallest. Uh, what is the average that we calculated as opposed to the one that they calculated, they'll be different. And it's interesting to think about why. And the other thing that we'll do, it, we ask you to do is find Michigan's data and print that out also. Now, what's important is that when we test this, we're, we're gonna test it with maybe, you know, this is the 2013 data, maybe we'll test it with the 2012 data or something like that. So you, you have to have something that's generic to be able to handle a file of, of this type. What I'm going to work, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, do a uh, look at a different column. Uh, let's look at hep hepatitis B and, and I'll show you how to print that out. I'm not going to have the states with it. I'll let you uh, figure that out. I'm just going to work at how do I how do I get this data? How do I print it out? And and then for the second part, I'm going to just find the total of all these uh, values, which of course is not what you have to do, but it will give you ideas on, on how to do it. So those are the those are the two parts of it. You're going to be looking for uh, measles data. I'm going to be I, I'm going to uh, take a look here at the uh, hepatitis. So let's um, let's dive into this. I'm going to uh, oh so where is my hepatitis data? And I could you know these there's roughly there's ten or twelve maybe fifteen uh, uh, characters here between you know uh, between each column and to get over here there's one two three four five six seven of those, maybe another 20 over here. Now I'm getting somewhere up into the hundreds before I get to this hepatitis uh, B column. Uh, so with that in mind, let's, uh, let's start playing around with this. Now, what I like to do whenever I have a data file is uh, open the thing up uh, and so we will open this up and the name of my data file opening it for reading. And what I like to do is uh, 
process. See if I can actually open this file um, and um, you know just see if I can print all the values in it. So if you are working in uh, the uh, Anaconda, well, I mean, anytime you're working on this, always make sure that your data is in that your program file and the uh, data file are all in the same uh, directory. So you want to you want to make sure that your data and your uh, program are all going to be in the same uh, folder or directory. Uh, and, and I've made sure of that here. Um, I'm going to have to uh, save my file and uh, let's see here. Should do that right. And I want to save this as where? Current directory, colon project five, project five. And let's see if I'm going to be successfully running this. There we go, there we go. And yeah, you know, there's you know 50, 60 lines of, of stuff in here. Uh, so that's good. That's good. So I, I successfully opened the file. One thing that's that's nice to do is to say uh, I'll call it my header, and I will take my file, and I will just read the one line, and that'll be the uh, uh, the header line. And, and you'll notice that, um, particularly for those of you who have the uh, that notice that. Every every line has a uh, um, you know has a geographic area. We call them all states generically here: U.S. Virgin Islands and uh, some data. And the uh, the header starts out with all the the header values uh, and, and so on. Um, I can also look at that by Saying I just want a header, or if you want, I can say print header, and and there's the header. So what do I want? So you know you're going to want to have uh, the MMR, but I'm looking at hepatitis B. So I'm going to see. All right. So how do I get that? Well, slicing is your friend. So let's try slicing. So I've got my header, and I remember when I looked at it before, I said it's somewhere in the hundreds. So let's slice this thing, say, from 100 to, uh, to 150. And what do I have? Well, my hepatitis B is in there, using the up arrow. Let's see if we can refine this a little bit. Uh, let's see, maybe. It's, it's somewhere in the middle. Let's go from 125 to say 140. Ah, we're getting closer. Uh, let's see. And, and, uh, so I'm guessing, let's see, it's about 128 to, let's try 135. And so by playing around with this, I can get down to uh, the header that I want just by a trial and error. So let's get a little closer, maybe 127 because I lost those characters. Let's lop off a couple more here. And now I've got the, uh, uh, I've got the header, so I can up in here, up in my program, I can say, well, let's print header from 127 to 133. And uh, let me just comment out the rest of this for a moment. And when I run this, 
I find that, gosh, look at that. There is my header. Right there. Okay. So I can see. So now I know roughly where uh, everything is. So, so let's let's take a look at this. So that instead of uh, printing the whole line, let me print the line from 127 to 133. I bet that'll be about um, what I'm after. And what I often do here is I don't want to print all 50 lines. And so I just say, uh, I put, put a little counter in here. And if my count is uh, bigger than 10, I'm going to break. That way I don't, I don't have uh, a gazillion lines here to look at. So notice. What do I have? I have now printed out uh, the header and uh, each one of the values, except uh, if I look up here, there's actually uh, three values in there. So I need to go a little bit further when I'm, because uh, uh, I, I don't have my entire plus or minus in there. So let's fix that. So that means Let's see, we're missing uh, two characters. So let's go out to 135. See what this looks like. Ah, that looks a lot better. So now I've got my, uh, now I've got my, my header value and I've got the full value of each of these. You know, it includes the plus or minus. It gets all the, the digits of the uh, error range. And, and we're, we're starting to look pretty good here. Now, I need to uh, output this. So let's call it my out file, and I'll call it uh, dummy.txt. You're going to give it a better name than that. And this time, I'm doing this for writing. And let, let me go back to the shell. Uh, you know, suppose I can't remember how to do um, how to do this, and when I when I uh, type this out, if I can do this fast enough, you will see that there is a file argument in there. So let's. Uh, and I could also do it this way. Yeah, so what do we have here? We have uh, one of the one of the possible things to say here is the file with some kind of a file name. And the, and the, the default is that it just goes to the standard output. That's what prints in the shell. Uh, it would be nice for us to uh, send it someplace else, like to my output file. So what I can do is where I have my prints, I can just say file equals the, the name that I gave. And I can do that on all this. And now when I run this, it nothing shows up in the shell, but if I look, let's see, what did I call this? I called this dummy.txt. And if I look at my dummy.txt, I'll open it with set it here and there's nothing there oh no what happened well what happened was I forgot the most important part which is if I want things to show up I have to close the file and I'm going to close because what that does is that when we're writing to the file we're writing into the RAM this writes it out to the uh, out to the disk so now we go through the whole thing again. Let's take a look at my, my uh, output file. And aha, there it is. I've got my, uh, my heading and the, uh, the values in the file. Now, of course, you've got to figure out how to get the states in there and all that kind of good stuff. But that will give you an idea. And of course, I only looked at 20 values uh, and so on. And of 
course, you got to try and print them out nicely, and, and, and all that kind of good stuff. And and that's that's the uh, uh, part A. Uh, and so now, okay. So now, what are we going to do in part part B? Is I am going to look at the actual data, not looking at the area. So. If I look at the values that I have that look something like this, I'm going to be only interested in the, uh, uh, the, the average and not interested in the, uh, um, the errors. We're just going to ignore the errors when we do our calculations. So with that, let's take a look at what the uh, second part might be. And to uh, to do that, I'm just going to redo this program. Let's see. So uh, I'm not going to worry with the output part. Let me go back and get rid of that now uh, part of this. Um, I'm still going to do the, uh, the other stuff. OK, so I'm, I've uh, backed up my program a little bit. Uh, but remember, when I ran this, I got the uh, well, I got all the data, right? And so this time I want to get out just that, and I don't even want to look at the uh, header value and whatever. So let's take a look. How do I get rid of those guys? Well, I can back off on my characters and eliminate one, two, three, four characters. So maybe that's a 131 and notice I'm still working with the top of the file and all right that looks a little better I just grabbed the data without the error and now what I'd like to do is find the sum of those values hey if I'm going to do an average which is one of the things you have to do you got to get the sum so how, how do I do that so I'll call it total don't use the word sum you'll You'll learn later on that that's not a good choice. And so I printed out each of these values. Now I want to take each of these and uh, not print them out. So let's, uh, let's save this line. Let's make a new one in there. And I'm just going to comment that out. So that is where my data was. It's got a decimal point in it. So let's, I'll just call it x equals float of that. And now what do I want to do? I want to add up all my x's. So I want to say total and add on the x value. And when I'm all done. all I have to do. Okay. And so there is my total now. One question is, is that really the total? Whoa, I don't know. Um, now I could, see, you know, the thing to do is sit down with a calculator and uh, add them up. I'm going to take a, a different viewpoint here. Let's, let's do it with three of them. Um, let me also uh, print all three of those. And now I can, uh, oh, I, I've got four of them there, right, because it's greater than three. Uh, each one is about, uh, about nine, has a value somewhere around 90, multiply that by four, it's 360. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, my average is, is uh, probably in the right ballpark. And there you go. Uh, that, you know, that's printing out the, uh, uh, you know, I want to find an average. Oh, gee, I've got to have the total as part of that. I also have to count how many they are. It's just uh, sitting right there. Um, and then you have to find maxes and means and so on. I'll leave that for you to do. And good luck.